Welcome back YouTube, two to UK, <laughs> the miserable old fair, yeah that. <laughs> uh, didn't think I'd be doing a video so soon. Truth be told, I've got two boxes of goodies to go through and a small pile of um, CX stuff and one eBay thing. So I thought, you know what, uh, I was a little bit of a miserable so and so and I swore so much last video as well when I watched it back oh, Christ I know I'm a bit of a potty mouth at the best of times but I think that was even might have been a record for me so I'm going to try and not uh not fanatise so much or swear or say any swears I'll try anyway and uh yeah I've just uh off the back of the last video, I've <laughs> saying, you know, for cheer up, you miserable. Look. And they're right, they are right. I, it's just a weird time, um, it, just in terms of where I am with the collection, um, home life, stuff like that. A lot, lot of stuff going on. It's not an excuse, not a reason. Sorry, it's not an excuse, but it is, it is a reason, if that makes sense. And, um, well, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, well, I've got to do this video. I haven't got to do anything. <laughs> I'll give one a F again. If I don't want to do anything, I won't do it. I'm, that, I'm, I'm getting to that age, you know, where I just don't. I don't. I'm, I, I must be like an eight-year-old in a twenty-one years old body. I'm twenty-one um, because I just don't care anymore. I don't, you know, I just if I don't want to do something, I ain't doing it. That's it. Sign of the times, man. Sign of the times. But I've got two boxes, which came in one box, basically, from um, a very good friend of mine, Alex Nintendo Arcade. Um, he con re reached out to me and sort of said, look, I've got this um, stuff, basically. And I'm not revealing too much of it, because that's Alex's business. Offered it to me, and I sort of said, yes, please, mate. It's not his sort of stuff, but he, he, he sort of said, like, would I be interested? Yes, and he's really looked after me in terms of getting it sent to me and stuff like that and helping me out. So I fired him off some wine or beer vouchers. Um, but yeah, many thanks, Alex. Really do appreciate it. He's put in some extra bits in here. I've, I've opened both because there was there was um, two things that I wanted out of it beforehand. Um, so I've kind of skimmed very, very... Obviously, I don't know. I haven't been through everything and anything that's in here, so I don't really know everything and obviously some of the pictures he took wasn't of everything either and he said he's put extra stuff in there obviously from um from him sort of i suppose technically downsizing his collection you know i've having moved and stuff like that so yeah we'll go through that and uh, as i say we've got some some nice cex buys actually and uh, um one thing from ebay which again i was going to sort of do some outs with but I'm, I'm i've changed my mind on that now um I'll tell you what, we'll do the CEX stuff first because these boxes will take a lot longer and um, you know, for them that may not want to see them they can always skip it afterwards rather than skip to the end to sort of see the other stuff mm. It's a weird day today I mean, it's quite warm but the wind's really sort of chilly just a bit of an edge to it but in here it's obviously like climbing like 28 degrees but it keeps kind of like hailing snow, uh, not snowing, hailing rain sort of. So if you do hear that sound, that's what it is. It's something else. Right, uh, I'll do this one first because this is a, this is a weird. I've changed my mind on this. Um, Big Mike Hulahan, shout out to Big Mike. Uh, without further ado, retro. Um, Mike likes to find things for people. It's a bit like Craig's here again. Likes to spend other people's money. Um, but fair play to him, man. He, you know, he's been sending me links to. Um, a loose car this which is what I've been after for for a while you know I don't want to pay through the nose for it because I was just gonna put it with what I've got here and, and sell it because I've got the PAL version complete um, that was the plan because the American version of this the US American version it, it goes for strong running as Mike likes to say it goes for strong running um, but having watched Scott Sega Zombie Scott Brand Sega Zombie fellow admin retro around um, what did he, what was he showing? He showed a video. They showed a video. In his video, he talked about a game, and then he sort of. Oh, that was it, it, he was talking about some games. And I can't think what it, what they were in a pickup video, and he mentioned this game. And he sort of said the reason why he's kept the US version is because it's uncut. And I wasn't aware of that. You see, this is why you should always watch these pickup videos. Other people's not mine. Well, no shit. No one watches my shit. 
Um, and so it, that's what's changed my mind basically, because I, I thought it was just it, it was just the American version. But that's probably why it goes for strong good money, as Mike would say. So now I'm thinking I'm just going to keep it. I got this for fourteen pound. It needed a clean. It's got one little nick in the label, but all the other copies I've seen that are loose cut, whoa, they're like. There was one that was knocking about for 25, 30 odd quid. The guy wouldn't entertain an offer at all, not even a fucking pound off. Um, most of them are around 40 quid bite now, so et cetera, et cetera. And so for 14 pound, I think it was, it was a UK guy that didn't have many gaming stuff, so I'm guessing they found this somewhere. It did have quite a lot of stickers on it. It's, it's come up really nice, except for the Nick. The Nick was on in the picture anyway, so I'm not too first. The gaming question is Splatterhouse 2. So that had to be the Genesis version, you can see the nick there. I think there must have been a sticker, a price sticker, because it, it was all gunk there, it was all gunk, and I've cleaned it all up, it's come up really nice actually. Um, and there's a load of shit and gunk on the back, and that's all come up and cleaned off, it's fine. I mean, the top label's not too bad at all. Um, so, you might not remember, some people do, I don't know. I had. I don't know where I got this from. Might have been a car boot fine, I, I fucking can't tell you. But, before... Um, I was going for a full Mega Drive, so I just classed, I had the PAL cart of this in the Genesis and the Genesis manual box. So we've got to put them back together again. So now I have got a complete Splathouse 2 on the Sega Genesis. And I'll be keeping it. I was going to say I was going to sell it because um, I thought, well, I don't need, you know, I don't need. Uh, don't need two copies, but it, it, it transpires that this is uncut, and I don't know what, maybe it's the blood, I don't know, I don't know what's uncut about it, but that would tie into why it's um, a little bit more expensive. So yeah, for £14 I've managed to, I don't know what, 60, 70, maybe more pound game, maybe not in this condition, because it's not it's not a minter, it is a, it's an honest copy, you know. To be honest, the sort of cartridge now goes quite well with the manual and the case, they all look of the same age, you know, there's a bit of wear and stuff, so that's, you know, it kind of complements. I don't want to do with that. Complements each other. So that's the first one. Nothing amazing, but quite nice when you can do stuff like that. You know, especially with retro. I mean, I've just had a conversation with Rob, my mate Rob, put some stuff on the WhatsApp group. He's been going through obviously his storage, and he's got like fucking boxes and boxes of games and shit like that. Stuff he's forgotten about. On the bet. When he put those in there, they were probably worth next to that. I mean, they're probably worth next to that now anyway, Robert, to be honest, all your fucking X OG Xbox Tat and PS2. But there'd probably be some stuff in there that at the time probably didn't have any real value to it. Or very little. And it's like stuff, you know, that game now probably had that fucking, I don't know, nine years or something. I don't know how long I've had it. But it probably wasn't worth that much. But that's the thing with retro, when you, especially when you can piece together bits and odds and sods. It's like, I, I always, if I ever come across loose, you know, manuals or boxes or whatever, I just keep them. Because you never know when they're going to come in handy. And uh, yeah, piece stuff together. <laughs> no one's interested. CEX, see if we can get the CEX jingling, come on. Baby. Yes. Um, Built up a bit of CX credit. I've, I've, I think I've had this knocking about for a while now. Um, well, I can't remember. It was selling stuff. Selling stuff, of course. It was trading stuff in. Um, stuff that I bought off Marketplace, like Xboxes and stuff like that. And I just haven't spent it on anything. But I have now, obviously. Uh, and these are keepers. Uh, I think it was a £6.50, £5 and £1.50 postage. The only one in stock. It is complete. It's not um, in perfect condition, but it's all there. It'll do for me. I thought, you know what? Fuck it. We'll have that. PlayStation One, Beast Wars, Transformers. I think it's the only Transformer game on the um, of this generation, and that's why it's based on the Beast Wars Transformers. Um, yeah, it's not a Minter. It's an honest copy. It's all there. Um, I have got a passive interest, as you guys may or may not know, in terms of you know the old uh, toys and stuff like that. So the gorilla guy there in Beast Wars, he's like the equivalent of Optimus Prime. Um, in the Transformer fandom, as they like to call it, um, Beast Wars, it, it, 
historically it was never really held in high esteem. I think, uh, what year is this? It might be early 2000s. It's got to be because it's PlayStation. Yeah, 1997. Um, so, so, like, say, whenever the toys were out. These were not very well received. Given its age now, that sort of next generation of people that watch this, they're kind of getting a bit more popular again. And it's just, you know, ebb and flow, isn't it? Um, but yeah, Beast Wars, the only one they had in stock. I don't think it's. I looked on eBay um, just to sort of see, and I think it's probably about a £15 game. I've paid a fiver for it. So again, I've told you this before. At any time there's only ever one thing in stock in CX or none in stock, kind of means that it's it's um, generally, it's not a hard and fast rule, but probably means that the price they're selling it for is is fucking above uh, below market. Hence why there's never hardly any in stock. Needs to give me jip again, man, today. Fucking killing him. Get way too old. Um, we'll do this one first. We'll stick with PlayStation. There's only, there's only two other games. Um, well happy to get this, especially in this condition. Fucking struck lucky from CEX. Really did. They had two in stock. Took both. Thought, fuck it, I'll have both. Because I say I had uh, the extra credit. I've got my refund back off the other one. Um, 50 quid each. So, you know... Getting up there in, in price you know, regarding PS1 titles in CEX. First one come through. It's a two disc game. Disc one of two. <laughs> there's no other fucking disc. Uh, there's no, there was no manual. The case is really nice though. Uh, nicer than the, the other one that came through which is complete which I'll show you here. So I'll just fucking add the case. Um, I think this is the case off this game. And Beast Wars is the case off this game. And the other case off that one, so basically the one I sent back of this next game is in the old backed up Beast Wars games. <laughs> Fuck off. No, it wasn't battered, it wasn't smashed, it was just, you know, when the plastic starts to, to, to dull because it's been sort of scuffed and whatnot. Whereas the, this game here, when this came in, it, it was, it, well, you'll see it now, it's great. Um, I'd see, I've, I'd had my eye on this a couple of times, I nearly pulled the trigger. At um, revival last sort of Christmas, the sort of mini meetup, um, Jason had it. Uh, Jason and Jeff from Get uh, Gaming they had eighty quid on it, and it was all, it was quite nice condition. This one is like fucking. It, now I would say this is mint. It really is. I couldn't believe when it come through, and it come through in fucking about ten ton of bubble wrap in massive jiffy bag as well. So it's really well packed. Um, a 50 quid fucking bargain it's strider 2 so it's the two disc because it comes with the og not not have not played it but this is really is really in nice condition so this is the case from um the other copy i had of this which is only come with one disc and this is the case this is the case that this one came in so I mean, this is absolutely suit. I mean, the manual is like, it's a fucking chunkish manual, but that is, that is really nice. It's really, I don't think it's ever been fucking opened. I mean, the only thing you can level at it is a little nick at the top there. Um, but yeah, for them that might not know, you're meant to have a red and an orange, and the other one only had orange, it only had the red, didn't have the orange disc in it. And it clearly says disc one of two, or you know, or two of two. So someone drops a real fucking ball out. And I'd said to the guys when I took it back, I said, look, because um, I didn't have the receipt for the for the disc only, you know, the disc one that only came in one disc. Um, I said, look, check the order. Don't send, don't send that one back to where this one came from, because those guys have done a fucking. And I said that. I said, really nice fucking job of packaging it as well. Um, I think he might have said it might have been Bradford, where the other one came from. Um, some guy called Sean, just had the sticker on the back, which apparently meant to take off as well. So, uh, should we put Strider 2 on? We can put Strider 2 on, can't we? Let's put it on. Fuck it out. I'm all over the place today. I'm absolutely aching. <clears throat> which is not putting me in a good mood. <clears throat> Achy, breaky bones, man. Um... 
yeah, I'm super chuffed with that. <clears throat> Especially when I, when I opened the first one and it only had disc one of two and it was no manual and stuff. I just thought, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. Bastards. Um, but say the second one really come through. Um, now, which one is which? Should we put, let's have a look and see what Strider 1 looks like on the PlayStation 1. <clears throat> Probably terrible. Terrible. I don't even know what it's a port of. You know, if it's the direct arcade or what. Um, no idea. The discs are absolutely perfect as well. It's a really nice buy that was. Is it going to ask me to select the language? We'll see, Capcom. Why that's going. The last one. Um, yeah, it looks like the PC engine. I wonder if it's a port of the PC engine again. Um, last game, I had this on release. I I think I might have even pre ordered it. It's a Super Nintendo game, but it was a bought a Super Nintendo game. It's the only one they had in stock. Didn't have a mint one, it is a boxed one. Um, it's not great. It'll do, it'll do as a make way. It's got the manual in there, it's got no poster, because it did come with a poster and um, was a po was it a poster map? I can't remember, it's a map and a poster. It's got neither of them anyway. Um, I put it in a, in a protector to, you know, I mean the, the, the form of the box isn't too bad. It's just seen better days. It looks a little bit tired, a bit like me. And uh, <laughs> quite an embarrassing story, because I was only, I can know how old must have been. 16, maybe 17, I can't remember now. No, it couldn't have been that, no, I wasn't that young. I was a bit older than that. Might have been eight, 17, 18, I can't remember. I traded this in. I traded this in for some money to buy, at the time, fucking girlfriend. It's either a Christmas or a birthday present. I honestly regret it to the day. It's another one of these regrets. Because I really looked after my stuff. I was just like, when I think back now, and I think this was like 65 quid, I think, boxed. Secret of Manor. So yeah, I have got, um, what have I got? I've got the Japanese version. I've got the American of this. Don't think I have. I've got a loose cart of it. We'll take it out of its, uh, out of its, out of the box. But yeah, it's, it's not a great example. I mean, technically it's complete. But I'll keep an eye out. I've seen worse. You know, it's got edge wear. Yeah, it's not collapsed on itself. The actual, like I said, the form of the box is fine, really. It's just, it's just tired. It's just fucking tired, like all of us. Um, it's got all the flaps. Just uh, manual has been well, well thumbed, and then some. This has got no track mode. Fucking hate it when they don't have a track mode. Uh, yeah, it lo looks, looks tired. Looks tired. And your obligatory cartridge, and has it got? Oh, it's got the track mode. Ooh. First time I've seen this. So yeah, that's. Uh, there's a few games. I, I mean, some people probably say, you know, why are you buying a PAL version? Uh, this, that, neither. But it's what I had. It's what I had, and I wouldn't mind getting a lot. Like I say, a nice, properly complete copy. I don't want mint. But some of it's half decent, you know. So we'll keep we'll keep his eyes out, keep his eyes peeled. Cause it'd be nice to get that just for nostalgia, really. And I'm a bugger with CES credit. Cause it ends up burning all in my pocket. It really does. I'll, I'll get all like fucking twitchy. I need to buy something. Um, but that again, that was the only one they had in stock. So oh, I'll keep an eye out. Ain't doing anything, is it? Motherfucker. Let's see if part two's got any better. That's just doing a stupid little attract mode. Uh -uh. I, don't, I don't know anything about um, Strider 2. I don't know if it's a terrible game or what. Or... I tried doing anything clever with it and failed. We shall find out together.
Right. Okay, let's try to rain again. Let's get these boxes. Two of these. Two of these to go through. Um, I say I have kind of opened them. You can see that I'm not going to light in. Sort of say otherwise. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to discern which has come from Alex and which is part of what I've what I bought essentially. I'd hope. And yeah, it's a load of paraphernalia, odds and sods, some really useful bits looking at it. Um, so the stuff that I bought off, off Alex is all 8 and 16 bit. So I, you know, if you're not interested in 8 and 16 bit microcomputer stuff, it's mainly Commodore 64 and there's some Amiga bits in here. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. If there is a next time. There might not be a next time. Who fucking knows? Don't know. There probably will be a next time. Stop being a negative. Stop being a doubting Thomas Toots. Come on. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Stuff from Alex. In no particular order. We've got a nice um, Mario 64 manual. It, it, oh shit, that's useful. As I mentioned before, some um, points cards. Chibi Robo one. I'll have to check my copy actually, see if I've got one of them in there because I haven't. I'll put these in. Not that I can't do anything with them. Nice stick here. 16 Blitz Match Mastertronic. So I'm guessing these. So I don't know if this would come in one of the Amiga games. Because these are the ones that come out of the budget titles. Um, they say it's all mixed in. Uh, Game Boy camera instructions. <coughs> Nintendo Power mail away. Oh, these, these bring back some memories. Club Nintendo. Another Club Nintendo. Some of the mail away. This is quite nice. Nice Shinobi sticker there. I'd be interested to know where these come from. I say they might have been out of the games. Cosmic Pirate. Now that looks like Sega. Sega CD. But I could be talking complete bullshit. They're quite cool actually. Um, a nice Japanese uh, Philios instruction manual. I'll put them separately actually. Sort of separate these out. Uh, Dr. Kong Lang 3, Game Boy. Wave Race on the Game Boy. Uh, actual Game Boy instructions. Ooh, Advance Wars on the Game Boy Advance. Nice. Put all the instructions together. Uh, more mailaways. Wii instructions, yeah, we don't need them. F1 race, nice to have. Luigi's Mansion, really nice to have. Resi 4, points. London Olympics on the Wii, useful. Space Invaders, Pac Man Collection, Golf. Oh, that's a bit folded up. Let's make a bit of a racket. We'll put that under a heavy book on my ass. Um, what's that? Oh, it's from two years ago. I was going to say, fucking hell. Um, a nice little sort of skyscraper fly bit from 2007. Good job I looked at that because I thought, oh, Manchester. Because it's again soon, but it's not in October. I think it's next month or this month, I can't remember. But um, that's quite nice. <clears throat> Southern Fried Game Game Moon Expo. That's when he went to America. Went to the States, man. Random. Five and a quarter floppy. Nothing on it. <laughs> okay, onto some games. Right. This looks a decent one. C64128. Wow. Oh man, that can't be right. Can't be right. Oh balls. Okay, well looks like we've got a box only. Project Fire Start by Dynamics. That looks fucking badass. On the C64. It looks like an aliens slash predator type thing. But unfortunately, 
It's just got like another random blank fucking disc in it. No game! But that box is in great condition. Wowzers. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Look, I'm not fucking daft. I know there's money in it and all this 8-bit shit. This is why I said to Alex, yeah, I'll have it. I'll have it, mate. Um, some big box stuff here. I, I know this game. I've seen this in the picture, actually. Um, I remember playing this very briefly. I think, again, it was all copies. We didn't have the originals. Uh, Cruise for a Corpse on the Amiga. Quite nice. Big box edition. This came out on the Kicks release as well. Um, point and click. Uh, Dalphine Software. Or Dalphin. I always say it was Dalphine. Um, French French company. Uh, and one of the games I really that they did was Future Wars. You know, and as with most of these point and click Amiga games, a plethora of discs. This is really nice condition. All bagged up. The whole fucking nine yards, the whole shooting match. Just check because I'm. <laughs> you never know, the, the discs from that other game might be in, in some out. Um, but no, this is just reference manual, some map. Some out. But yeah. Really nice. All bagged up. That's what you want. So this will be kept, as I say. Um, yeah. Let me show you the back. Classic point and click adventures. They did, um, did Dalphine do Codename Iceman? I can't remember that or if that was a Sierra Online. I forget. Moving on, another big box. Um, you showed me a picture of this. If this is complete, I think there's a few quid in this one as well. Amiga title, Psygnosis. Obliterator. So the wonderful Psygnosis artwork. Um, yeah, you can see some Amiga there. With the obligatory owl. I'm sure Mr. Bad's Cine Steve about to tell me if this has got everything in it. I mean, I obviously can go and check anyway. One disc, is that right? One disc, one manual and one mail away. I don't know if there's anything else meant to be using that, I don't know. It looks like something goes in here, but is that just a mail away? Unless it's two discs. It doesn't say disc one or two or anything. <laughs> but if it's anything like Project Firestar, there could be erroneous bits missing from each one, but I say, I'm not overly fussed. For what I paid, I'm sure I'll get my money back and then some, which is what it's all about. You know, none of this was bought to keep, unfortunately. Um, well, not unfortunately, because if I bought it to keep, I would have kept it, so it makes no odds. Right, massive slew of C64 games here. Um, Actually, should we do these? Let's do these are the let's do these are the Amiga games here. Um, this is an unusual size box. I don't know. I don't even remember which one John had. Did he have the plastic version of the bigger box? In a sort of weird smaller box, F twenty nine Retaliator. Again on the Amiga. In really nice condition. Can't really fault these at all. Um, again, all all bagged up. Really look, been looked after. Legit ocean, ba ocean baggy. Two discs. I mean, a fucking ring bound fucking manual. Um, but yeah, I don't know. F29 Talita. I don't know if that came in. You know, uh, I can't which one it was now. There's one of the Amiga packs, and the games all came in like plastic, plastic boxes. Well, it box would it? Box made out of cardboard. Plastic case. And I'm not sure if F29 was in that, like the old, is it, no it's Ocean. What am I thinking of it, the EA one? Oh, I don't know. That many bloody flight sims, anyway. Pfft. Obviously this person liked flight sims, sadly. Same with like fucking role playing games or point and click adventures. Uh, Fighter Bomber, 
Activision. Yeah, more more flight. Flighty flight flight. Get on the Amiga. Again with Okay now hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Shit's fucking going everywhere now. Two discs and then some copied hooky dodgy one. Still no sign of um I don't think we'll I don't think we're gonna find them Corridor games. Instructions, operation guidance, and then some sort of um, quick start jobby. But yeah, really nice condition that box. Again, smaller, weirder boxes. And then another flight sim, Falcon Spectrum Holobyte, Mirrorsoft game. And then the fucking feels like it weighs a bastard ton. Need a degree to read the manual. Um, Keyboard overlay, dog fight, fucking manual you can choke a donkey on, and the discs, disc one and two. So yeah, that looks like it's all there. Um, put the right way around, stoop. Yeah, Falcon. Right, let's have a slurp. That looks to be all the Amiga stuff out of this box. So the rest of it now looks like it's just Commodore 64. Thing bounces back. A gift from Conix. I'm going to put that down there. Um, <clears throat> we've got. I just want disc. Awesome Ghosts and Goblins. Elite. With the manual. Very nice. Hero. Now what's... On the Atari, was it 5200? 2600, I can't below. What the... No manual in this one. Or is this one of these ones that the manuals on the ins? No, it's not. Sometimes with these older ones, the, the instructions are on the, ins the inserts, but not this, not in this case. Hero. I need a hero. Oh, John Rambo, First Blood Part Two. Don't push me. Yeah, First Blood Part Two, with the instructions. Ocean title. Mr. Bads, Mr. Ocean. <laughs> hey, you guys, the Goonies. You can see them there. Complete. The world's smallest set of instructions by Datasoft, this one. Some really nice titles in here. Um, another cracker. <clears throat> and to sort the insert of that. The Transformers, talk of Transformers. Iconic front. There's Ravage and Laser Beak. No sound wave though. My mate, um, talk of Transformers, my mate um, Tom Pizarro's pieces, he managed to buy a boxed pre Hologram. Remember, anyone remember Transformers? You had a hologram. You can rub it, and it's like Decepticon or Autobot. Shut up. Uh, symbol will turn up. Well, apparently the the the, um, the sound wave that he got. The sound wave was one that had the cassette, and obviously uh, Ravage and Laserbeak with, with little cassettes could actually fold up inside him. But the one he got was a pre what they call a pre rub. So it is fucking rare as hen's teeth. At least easy two hundred quid, and he paid a fiver for it. So fair play, Tomo. Um, that's, I love watching stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's all all there. And what was this? Because the only one I ever really remember playing, which was, wasn't really, it was a Transformer game, but it wasn't Transformers Transbot on the Mass System. But I don't, I don't ever recall ever playing this. Another Ocean title. Fuck. 
Okay, you want a loose cassette? Oh, okay. No screenshot. <clears throat> Strontium Dog and the Death Gauntlet. So Strontium Dog is um, 2000 AD. Character, I'm sure he is. No screenshots. Fucking shaky, shaky hand, man. Shaky hand cam. Um, instructions are on the in, on the insert. There's nothing to show you on the back. Strontium dog. A big mahout of a box. Quicksilver presents summer games from Epic. Epic's twin cassette pack. There we go. Someone liked a bit of the old. There's a load of old shit in here. Oh, that's it. Instructions. What the fuck is that? Hang on. Let's look at this first. So we do have. Crikey. Crikey, O'Reilly! We've got these instructions. We've got Game Lords. I thought it said Gay Lords, anyway. <laughs> Game Lords Club. We've got. Supplement instructions. In the cheap little paper, and then this scabby old thing here. Summer Games personal bests. I'm gonna leave it in there. Whoever might buy this might enjoy having a look at that and try and beat whosever personal best they were. Or maybe they fucking won't. Maybe they bloody just won't. And if it doesn't hold the cassettes in, it's a bit weird. Let's rattle around. So summer games, right? Last couple out of this box. Oosh. Uh, the sacred armor of Antirad. Antirad. Antiriad. 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 I have to read the fucking writing on that. Antiriad, isn't it? Yes, yeah, neither. Fucking hell. Run right, shoot shit. Your Tal. You, Tal, are mankind's last hope against the invaders. Find a secret arm, discover the secrets of its magic, and use it to destroy the source of the enemy's power. Cool. Fucking artwork on the front, that. Uh, and it's got everything in it. Ooh, cool little instructions. Little comic book. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, it's anti rad. Huh? I don't know. Look, it says anti rad there. Oh, fucking, I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? I'm tired. Not high. That's that one. Uh, put that there. Oh, I remember the TV show this. Could scare the shit out of you at the start. Um, Royal Family. V. Is it an all out attack? I remember the TV show of that. Was it a movie first and they made it to a TV show, didn't they? And then they stopped after the second season. I can't remember now. Yeah, it's all the. Uh, again, like I said, some of these instructions are actually on the insert. And got the cassette. Another ocean title there. V. <laughs> International Karate! Obviously, not as good as IK, Plus, but the original, nonetheless. All at only six pound fifty. Actual street jumps. Very interesting. Yeah. Whoop. And what's Twister? Oh no. I don't know. But it just is the actual right instructions. It's got IK plus on there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't fit in. So it has to be half and half.
Gordon Bennett. I remember this. This was only Mega as well. I'm sure of it. Zynaps. Houston Soft. Pretty good shooter. Pretty good shooter, man. Okay. Oh, your shiz is in there, man. Start getting through these a little bit quicker. Okay. Um, I don't recall this. I don't recall. I don't recall. I don't recall an 8-bit version of this. It's none other than Back to the Future. By Electric Dreams. <laughs> Yeah, C64, Electric Dreams. Forever in Electric Dreams. From Boots. Looks it. That's that box done. Move some shit around. Another bud. Bit good about Project Fire Start. It's the only one that's missing its uh, stuff. Okay, box two. Whoa, a bit heavier. Right, filled to the brim. Filled to the to the nines. Right off the top, arcade classics. Firebird. Chiller. Gotta remember seeing this in the old days. There was an engine sweet shop down the high street from me. And I always used to go in there to buy Spectrum games and always smell, I always remember the smells of looking at the games and they had all the um, you know the budget releases and stuff. I remember seeing the Mastertronic labels and seeing that and they had um what was the other ones that they had like that on the budget label? Ollie and Lisa, stuff like that. Bump set pump set spike. Doubles Volleyball, Entertainment USA, another from Master Tron. They just kept bringing out different versions of the same label, didn't they? Um, yeah, these are all in there. Oh! <laughs> Makes me want to get a C64 back just to play it. R rated now we're going triple X strip poker. Look at the fucking graphics on that. What the hell is it? Oh, it's a woman laying down on the side. Uh strip poker. Oh no, the screenshots. There's nothing to see, guys. You bastards! Frack! I've had frack before. I'm sure I've got frack in a bigger bundle deal. Yeah, fracks there. I'm just checking. The, uh, ordinarily, you know what? I wouldn't bother. I'll just sort of show you the fronts and the backs and then be done with it. But just because that one was missed, hasn't got the discs in it, I'm just, uh, just want to double check to make sure everything counts as. Ah! No. No, it's not. Oh, fuck. Okay. Thing on a Spring by Gremlin Graphics. But unfortunately, it's just on the copied cassette. Now I did think it was that, look. But I'm wondering if that's the follow-up. Anybody know? But that's a bit of a bar. That's discs, that tape's no good, is it? I must want, I might just stick that one in there. Because that there's no point. You can't do anything with a copied fucking thing. People might buy it for the, you know, for the thingy, but yeah. Oh, that's it. That's useless. <clears throat> useless. Demo. First demo. You usually see loads of demos, like loads of demo tapes. Uh, Zap sixty four Mega Tape eight. <clears throat> Galaxy Birds by Sensible Software and Felix by Elite. I don't know. <clears throat> Put that over there. We have Arcade Flight Simulator by Codemasters. So these Codemasters ones again were in that 
engine sweet shop all over the place. Yes, yeah, that's the right one. Uh, War Cars construction set by Firebird. I've seen that one before. See a lot. Of, some of these games I I, I remember. I de if I haven't played them, I definitely remember seeing them. Nonetheless, from BT. Look, BT Telecom. The old BT logo there. Yeah, it's all there. Uh, what's that? that? Well, that's for that. Some bloody white protection labels up for the five and a quarter. Must be good to there. Pitman typing keyboard skills. Random. Uh, <laughs> I remember him, Clumsy Colin. KP Skips Action Biker. You remember you know, KP? Skips are still going. Oh, for fuck's sake. So it's not the right one. So that's a load of shite as well. got on here yeah so box only who knows sky fox includes free enameled metal badge offer a really a really soft some sort of flight simulator oh no I think by EA yeah that's the right one uh, what else have we got here? Phantom of the Asteroids, another Astrotronic game. Yeah, that's right. It's only a game, boy. I don't believe I'm right. We're gonna be snooker. Snookering you tonight. That's right. Best snooker game, Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker on the Amiga. Done. Snooker is done. I'm not a snooker fan. Fucking hate watching snooker. I'm not playing it too much. I'm going to shit at it. But. Ah, here we go. Reminds of Bruce Lee. This is Zorro. Don't remember seeing Zorro before. It's like a platformer. Has it got it in? Is it the right game? Uh, it is. Yeah, so Zorro by Datasoft, US Gold. <clears throat> Oof, hang on, we'll do this, do this in order. Uh, another Firebird. A bit of a shooter. Thrust. The Brick B2 game, is it the right game? Yes, Thrust's in there. And not only that, we have Thrust 2! Unbelievable, Jeff. 199 for Virgins on the back as well. Just two in there. Wonderbar, wonderbar. Right, next up. From Summit Games. These are 299. This is Frightmare. It's a fucking Frightmare. Again. From Virgin. Shut up. That's the right set. Zegut. good. Hole in the arse. Hole in one. <laughs> fucking god. Fucking what a load of old shit. <laughs> yeah, it's the right game. Fuck, it would be, wouldn't it? Hole in one. Mad. Mastertronic again. Mastertronic must have had fucking about ten different fucking aliases for labels. Is that tax avoidance? Was it to trick the public? Who knows? 1985, another Mastertronic game. The Day After. Never heard of it. Oh, it is just called 1985. The subtitle Day After. There you go. Don't know. Looks. Space shooter esque. Okay, this looks like a really old one. BC's Quest for Tires. Project, software project, Sierra Online. Looks like an early Sierra Online logo as well. Crikey. 
<coughs> you know, no offence, but when you've got when you've got hand drawn artwork, that implies it's quite an old one. 1984. Yeah, it's got everything in there. It's got the right cassette, so yeah. I'm sure there's money in the, you know that that well, there will be. This one I remember seeing. Um, and I definitely this um, again the Mastertronic label, the Mad one. These are the main labels that I remember seeing towards the end of the Spectrum's life. And what's this called? Last the last V8. It's hard to make out what's the title and what's part of the fucking artwork. But that guy there, you know, he was in, he, he, I don't know what he was called. Is it the right game? Yeah, the last V8. Right. We'll do them. Anyway, we've got a couple of more little cassettes. Let's get the little cassettes out of the way. Um, Marlborough House, I think I've had this when I've got that massive 8-bit um, job lot. Uh, Terra Molinos by Marlborough House. I think it's in the wrong case, it should be a clear case by the looks of the screenshots because if you close that over it covers them up and it shouldn't be like that. I can always swap that for that um, that demo tape anyway. Oh shit, what's this one? Another Areola Soft game, including another enamel pin badge offer. Axis Assassin. Feck knows. It looks very Vector-esque. Is it the right game in there? It is. Bonus. And again, another one on this mad label. Uh, Master of Magic. Spells and illusion. Enemies crumble with fear and confusion. Mandrake. Bonus points if you can remember what cartoon that was from. Anyway, this is Master of Magic. I don't, anything important that's really useful in my life, I cannot remember. Useless fucking inane shit like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm your man. Fuck, you know. Can't remember shit in terms of fucking any, any sort of education, but useless crap. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. Mastermind. Your topic. Your specialist topic is useful shit. And useless shit. That <laughs> no one needs to know. So, these definitely from Alex. A little bag of stuff. He did mention he's chucked some memory cards in here and these are really useful. Really useful. We've got an N64 Joytech. Definitely useful. Andy saved game. Well sorry Andy but I'm having your GameCube memory card. Another GameCube one. I mean that shows everyone's asking for GameCube and PlayStation 1 as well. Um, another R4. I've got loads of R4 cards. Another cube, just a off off market, aftermarket, off brand, whatever you want to call it, Scott brand. Theme park, <clears throat> Tiger Woods, fucking gone. No wonder you give me these, you bastard. More cube, nice, nice, nice. More cube, and the memory. 3DS title here, Ghost Recon Shadow Wars. Wasn't there one of these Ghost Recons which was like a side-scrolling shooter type thing? Am I getting confused? Like someone sort of said a bit like Metal Slug. Looks like a PlayStation one here, Orange Gamester. Um, another off-market cube. How was that? Touch. Oh, this looks under the like Four type card touch DS. That's quite nice. Animal Crossing. Looks like a hooky copy of Harvest Moon, which is which is Ella's game branded memory card and to save games. Randius. Got a little pack here. I'll put them back in a bit. Oh, two R4 cards. Fucking hell, Alex. Thanks for them. You don't have to do that, brother. Brother, brother. <laughs> I'm the fucking brother. You're fit as a fucking butcher's dog. Uh, cheers, bruv. I say, um, 
Alex had to move, so I'm, I'm guessing he's got, like we've all got, boxes, tubs of shit, and I'm, I, I think he's probably looking at it going, I don't need that, I don't need that, I need to be um, more selective in what he's keeping, perhaps. Uh, you know, when space becomes a premium, um, it, it's surprising what you can sort of, you can let go. Case in point, perhaps. 